Hey all, welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. My name is Kurt. Today we have a really, really neat show for you. I'm looking forward to it. For those who really know me and know me well, they're aware that I really love bourbon. I really love rye whiskeys. I really love gin and mixing cocktails with gin. But I have to say my obsession at the moment is scotch whiskey. I can't say that I know everything about scotch whiskey. I, I, I certainly appreciate everybody that's commented on past scotch videos that's helped me with pronunciation. There's so many things to learn about scotch whiskey. I so do appreciate all of your help with that. But my obsession right now is definitely scotch whiskey. Man, I just, I just love it. I'm kind of obsessed with it at the moment. So, Today what I've done for you is I've accumulated my, my five favorite 12 year single malt scotch whiskeys that I have here at SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. Now, there may be some that I don't have and if you have your favorites that I don't have here that it's not on my list, boy I'd love to hear from you. I love, love, love to know what those bottles are. So, I want to say though first before I get into the list a special mention. I would absolutely put Glendronic 12 year on this list if I had it down here in the bar. I have to admit, Trenton knows this too. He's not huge into scotch, but he looks for me when he goes out looking for bourbons and things like that. Our, our scotch selection around my area just blows. It's just really not good. So I have to kind of travel a little bit and try to try to find some stuff, but I don't have the Glendronic 12. If it was, it would be in this list. Okay, that's out of the way. Without any further ado, let's get into this list. I've got five bottles for you, my favorite 12-year single malt scotch whiskeys. Very first bottle that I want to show you, it's just simply the Glenfiddich 12-year. The Glenfiddich 12-year is 80 proof. It cost me right about 40 bucks. It's a Speyside Scotch. It's aged in American oak and European oak sherry casks. This particular whiskey is a little bit new to me down here in the bar. I actually just picked it up probably a couple weeks ago, but I did some sampling with it. I spent some time with it, so I was somewhat educated during this video. I find it to be somewhat of an oatmeal quality, and I don't mean that in a bad way either, more like a creamy, creamy type of an oatmeal, a little bit of cinnamon, and on the back end, I've got a little bit of orchard fruits. Uh, being a $40 scotch whiskey, it isn't, it isn't overly exciting, but I found it to be a, a real solid pick, especially for the price tag. So, my very first single malt 12-year scotch whiskey on, on my list today, Glenfiddich 12-year. Does that look all right, Trent? Looks good. Very next on the list. Hey, I had to pick this up. This one is in my area, area the Balveni 12-year Doublewood. I can't count how many, how many of you all recommended this bottle to me and I didn't have it. I had to go get it. So I got it some time ago and I really, really, really do like it. A little bit of the particulars on the Balveni Doublewood. 12-year, it's 86 proof. Cost me about 60 bucks. It is also a Speyside Scotch. It is aged for 12 years in second or third fill American barrels, then placed in first fill Oloroso sherry for nine months. What I've done also for these particular selections, I've also tried to research peat. If, if the scotch has any form of peat, this particular scotch has a three PPM. Now, PPM is parts per million to give you a little bit of an idea. An Ardbeg 10, is basically 55 ppm parts per million. So that'll give you an idea that's kind of a highly high peated type scotch. This one has a three, so very, very little peat in this particular scotch. I find this, I find this bottle to be really nice and warming, some real nice oak characteristics right up front. And on the back end, a real sweet tones of orange and honey. Really, really nice for $60. It's a real journey with this bottle. 
It really, really is. Thank you so much for, for all you people that recommended this bottle to me. I appreciate that. So, Balvini, double wood, 12 year. Moving on to the next on the list, I have the Highland Park 12 year Viking Honor. This also I bought from recommendations from you folks. Can't appreciate that more. This particular bottle is really, really a nice single malt scotch. Some of the particulars on this one, it's 86 proof. It'll, it'll cost you somewhere between 50 and $60. It comes from the Orkney Islands and it has a peat PPM of 20. It's Asian Oloroso Sherry seasoned European and American oak casks. I really, really enjoy this bottle. I really do. It's got some honey, a little bit of some fruity tones, and a, just a touch of, just a hint of, of smoke and peat on the back end. But I really enjoy a pour of this now and then. It, it's really a nice journey for me. It's it's a lot. It's a little bit of sweetness, but I do enjoy that little bit of uh, with a 20 ppm on the peat level. I do enjoy that little bit of peat on there too. It's a it's a very 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 nice scotch, nice to have, and for that for that price tag, you just can't beat it. All right, the next this one's relatively new for me. Finally found it. Believe it or not, I found it in Chicago, like 60 miles away from me. Springbank Cask Strength 12 year. I've been looking for that for I don't know Trent, not long ago. I mean, it's been on our list. I've told you about it for months, have I not? Looking for it for months. So, a little bit about the bottle. Uh, this particular bottle is 114 proof. It's a cost me close to $130, so obviously the most pricey bottle of the group today. It's a Campbelltown Scotch. And the peat PPM on this particular bottle is 12 to 15, somewhere in that general range. It's aged in a combination of ex-bourbon cask and ex-sherry casks. This is a little hot. So it's 114 proof, it's, it's a little peppery up front. So you get that spicy little peppery, but immediately after that you get some warming spices and a bit of orange, and then it just comes through with the sweetness with some caramel, toffee-ish type thing. I love this stuff, I really do. And what I have done is I've added some water to this too to kind of tone down that proof a little bit, and it just opens up even more flavors. This has just been a fantastic, fantastic buy for me. I know it's just a, it's a touch pricey, but man, this is this has really, really, really been a neat bottle for me to dive into. I can't wait to get into it a little bit more. Last but not least, I, I have to give it to you. And honest to goodness, it's my favorite twelve-year single malt down here at SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. <laughs> there it is. You've seen it before. Twelve-year Boonahab. How can I not put that, how can I not say that that's not my favorite 12 year single malt? This particular bottle is 92 proof. It's gonna cost you between 50 or 60 bucks. It's an Isla Scotch, and it does have three parts per million of peat, so very low. It's aged in ex-bourbon and sherry casks. I, I just can't say more about this stuff. I mean, it, it's, it's nutty, it's got some butterscotch, it's fudgy, it's got a hint of sea salt with a bit of smoke on the back end, but more it's very viscous, it's extremely creamy. I could go on and on with the accolades that I have for this bottle. It's got everything. It's, it's just really, really, really nice bottle. Really nice bottle. So that's all I have for you today. Up front of the bar top are my personal favorite 12 year single malts that I have down here in the bar. I would love to. I would love to hear your uh, comments and see what bottles you may have that you would have put on this list. We thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We'd appreciate that so much. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly, and we'll see you next time right down here with me in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.